Oh fucking no boys, time to get Gucci with it again. So we did a video like this a couple weeks ago, I think it was last week, and you guys really seem to enjoy my opinions on things, and I don't usually share them, but I'm gonna start to do that. With this new series, Getting Gucci with Name Brand, Getting Gucci with it. The whole thing is one name. There's been a lot of things boggling my twigs lately up in my head, just really rumbling my tummy uh, of shit that I really like don't dig, and I climb rocks every day. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I climb rocks every day, just go think, which is why I'm sunburned. However, there's been one thing that's been boggling my mind for a little while, really tickling my tummy. I mean, I don't really dig it, and I really want to discuss with you because it's somebody you guys know who I think is being not good. You know what I mean? I feel like they're not being good to you, and they're not being good to me either. And I really wanted to discuss it today because this shit's bullshit, and I don't do the bullshit. Now, it might seem I'm like some sort of beaver kicker right now because I'm like kicking a beaver while he's up, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to display the attraction they have towards telling people what they're doing wrong on video. Also, I'm sunburned right now, so if you guys uh, let me know if it looks like a sick tan or whatever, it's, it's a sunburn, but I think it's going to turn into a Time pretty soon. They're looking at me in the car. It's a nice car, bud. He doesn't fucking get it. I'm, I'm driving a fucking Lambo right now. You guys can't tell from the steering wheel because it's a steering wheel of a different car, but it's fucking sick. So I do understand this video is a bit late, and that's because I didn't keep up with the times. Now I'm usually good at keeping up with the times, you know, like Selena Gomez sick nip slip the other day. Like there's a bunch of celeb nip slips always happening, and I'm always catching it. However, this one I actually caught late. And what I'm talking about first off is the one we all know is Blazendary, and uh, he's a YouTuber. If you guys don't know him, sneaker YouTuber, I'm sure you do, but you probably shouldn't. Um, he just hit a million subscribers. Once again, I found out about this today. Now, I climbed a big rock mountain after hearing about this, and I was like, fuck, I really gotta think about this situation, because he's always boiled my blood to begin with, but then when I saw he had a million, I, I knew I had to say my piece, because I know I deserve a million more than him, and also why I think he's just like some sort of genuine douche. I think he's a genuine douche. Now, let's fucking backfire for a second, man, and backtrack. I had to change positions in my car, because I was getting too heated, and I really don't want it to be this way, but Blazendary, I was a fan of you for a long time, man. I was a fan of you until 9 100,000 subscribers, and you know what? This video might actually come as jealousy to most of you, but it's not. I was a fan of you up until then, until I saw you were about to hit a million, and I wasn't! I wasn't about to hit a million! Once again, I'm not jealous. Bro, I was a blazing dairy -er. And the fact of the matter is, we're gonna get to the douchiness in a second of why I think you're a major douche ass. An ass that gets douched. But here's the tinted facts, man. We about to get into it real quick. Now listen, man, before I destroy you with every inch of my fucking badge, I'm gonna give you some compliments, cause that's what you deserve up into a point. And yes, I changed car positioning again, cause I needed to get more comfy. You know, bro, you think you're all sick with your sick hair? and stuff like that. How many fucking YouTubers wear hats in every video, huh? None. None except for me. Now, I don't know if you call yourself some sort of fashion guru or what your name is, fashion ball sack, etc. But let me just say, man, let me turn off my car too because I'm about to run this into the water. If you can't wear a hat, bro, you got no position for this community. As much as also I think Kais is a cock, I've seen him wear a hat before. Therefore, the ones that wear hats in this circular community are more acceptable to fashions. I've never seen you wear a Supreme hat before. You know what else I've seen? I see you showing off your mom in every video because you have a mom that loves you. But it ain't cutting it, bro, because I see past the bullshit. And you know what else I see past? The wig that you probably wear. Ah. Uh I don't know. I said it. I know there's a lot of people thinking the same thing. Bro, we exposing you first off in your fake ass fucking wig. But also, I'm taking my tonsils out on this one, bro. I'm exposing you because all the fucking Gucci you own is probably fake. Do you know how remarkable it would be if all the clothing you owned was real? We touched on this last video, bro. Legit checks are through the water. Throw those away. Guess what? Because you don't have Kanye West, Will Smith, or God, legit checking your shit. Therefore, Blazendary, you definitely rock some fake shit in your life. Guess who doesn't? Chad Nazam. That was a joke. That was supposed to be a joke to kind of bring down the mood a little bit, but I'm still boiling. Bro, let me just say this yeast infection in my pants is blazing. Dairy. Now I'm hearing the comments right now, man. All you guys are probably like, name brand, you're just jealous. I'm not jealous at all, but here's some of the things you guys probably think I'm jealous about. Oh, he's got a sick tattoo on his chest. I'm about to get one that is much sicker. Cause I'm getting I used to heart blazing dairy tat on my chest. So we've been really getting off track with what I've been trying to say in this video. I've been really trying to really speak on why I think I deserve a million more. And this is what I'm really talking about right now. You see, we used to go to sneaker cons together. You know, it was all Gucci. We used to go 
to sneaker con, we'd have some food together, stuff like that. We went to dinners, everything. He was so nice to me. He was always so nice to me at sneaker cons. I'd look at everyone being like, legendary. He's worth shit right now. He sucks right now because he only has 70k when I have like 100. But guess what? He's still nice and I still respect him. Oh, nowadays, I got to see him at sneaker con and the dude acts the exact same way. Bro, you aren't fooling anyone. No one's that nice. Let me just tell you, man, and I am sweating ballistic missiles right now because I think I threw a lit cigarette in my car and quite frankly, I think it's about to catch fire. Anyway, I see him at sneaker con all the time still. I say, what's up, Blazing Dare, even though he's at a million, and he's like, bro, what's up? We're all good. Oh, I'm not going to act like I'm not a big shot. I'm not going to act like I have everything more than you and so much money, and a mom that's going to appear on camera, and a dad, because mine's dead. But at the end of the day, Small Barry, I know that I've just been spitting facts, and this is exactly what I think about you. And I want you to really well on this, and know that name brand is the best, and that I deserve to be more subscribed than you, and I deserve to have more sex than you, and I deserve everything. And I definitely deserve 1 million subscribers, and i sorry if this comes off as some sort of cheating hoax to you guys, some sort of, oh, name brand's jealous. I'm absolutely not. I would never talk shit about anyone, and I bet Blazendary would. I absolutely bet you that Blazendary would talk a lot of shit, and I never would, and I'm gonna grow to be bigger than Blazendary no matter what, and I'm gonna do it with absolute honesty and absolute facts that I have the bigger dick in the world. Blazendary, I'm signing out for now, and I hope you know that I will catch you at the next sneaker con, you poon.